Welcome back everyone, this is Darby and today we're going to be taking our film from our Patterson tank through the development step. So we're going to go through a few quick things. Over here we have our chart for this is our time. Um, this is what happens if uh, it doesn't turn out the way you think and this is how to put the, the tank together. And this is our chart right here, uh, what to do and when to do it. So we're going to take this and it's light tight. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our canisters, one of our beakers here, we're going to pour our developer 10 liter, uh, ounces in here. And just to save time, we're going to use water real quick. I'm just going to go in here, and what we're going to do here, we we'll take our glass thermometer, and we're going to measure the temperature. Okay, and what the temperature says, Let's say it's supposed to be at 68 degrees, so let's go over here, and if it's 68 degrees, like it's supposed to be, and we have 400 ASA or ISO film, which is what we're running right now, it's eight minutes to develop. So let's say it's not, let's say it's a little cold. You can take this wonderful, simple plastic box uh, bucket here, put this here in the sink, turn this over here, and crank some hot water. The hot water will fill into the tray and it will warm up the chemicals. If you want to keep an eye on it, make sure it's the right temperature. So if it's too hot or too cold, you can always adjust that. So you definitely want to measure, measure the temperature before you pour it in. So you take this up here, open it up because it's light tight with the funnel. And then you take this like so, pour that bad mamma jamma in there. Make sure it's nice and sealed. And the first 30 seconds, now you should be setting a clock. So if you want to pull out your cell phone, set the time, use the clock over there. We have a timer over there. We had a digital one, but I think it broke. I'm not sure. I think it's still workable. Uh, so you shake for the first 30 seconds. And this is that right over here. You shake for the first 30 seconds. 30 seconds is done. You lightly let it drop, thump it, um, and then let it sit for 30 seconds. And then you shake for five seconds. Now, when I say shake, I'm not talking about shake, 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 okay? It's not shake and bake. You want to, like, dance with the thing. You want it to go all over, okay? Top, down, left, right. You want all 360 shake for five seconds. Let it sit for 30 seconds, shake it for five seconds. This goes on for that total of eight minutes. Then I have an interesting system here. We have our developer which is round one, and then we have our developer, which is round two. After you use it from round one, you can pour it back into round two, okay? And after you use it from round two, you pour it down the drain. That way we get one more use out of it. Um, nothing has been affected uh, quality of film so far, so we're going to keep going with that. So if it's done with round two, then you pour it down the drain here. Now, a few people haven't had this funnel on correctly. They poured it and the whole thing came out. So you want to make sure it's on and tipped. Okay, so then the next thing you do is you check here and it says uh, stop bath, 10 seconds. So you add some water in here, 10 ounces, pour it in there, put this over here and you shake it for 10 seconds, pour it out. And then you go to your fixer, right over here, red cap. It's the rectangular looking device, a, a jug as you can see. It is a rectangle in comparison to this. So we're going to pour 10 ounces of the beaker and into here. This one's only two minutes. You shake for 30 seconds. We'll make sure it's on. And then you let it sit. And then you thump it, let it sit for 30 seconds, shake for five seconds. And this only happens for two minutes. Then you take this, pour it back in the fixer. Okay, fixer. And then you go over here. And what I like to do. Just let the water run into the tank for about 30 seconds or so. It'll fill in the air, come out the top, fill in the air, come out the top. That's my quick rinse. Then what I do is this awesome, awesome tube here. This is our premium film washer. Lovely device. So what we're going to do here is we take this tube. It's usually connected. Pop it in this little... Uh, tube there and then you put this 
underneath the sink here. Make sure this is pointed this white, let me bring it close up. So we have this right here, which is where the nozzle goes in, and this is where everything comes out. So don't have this pointed at you or anyone else. So you like to point that in the sink. So what you do, after the fixture, it is safe. The film is safe to go out in the light. So what you do is you drop this reel, and this could fit several reels, so I like people to work in groups, um, so we could put several in there, conserve water. Now you can turn this thing on, and you turn it on slow, it will fill, but if you want to crank it, you need to hold this thing on here, otherwise this tube's going to come undone, spray everyone in the area, um, and, or it'll just spray like that. So the water is going to slowly fill in this tank here. It's going to come all the way almost to the top. And just before you think it's going to come out and go all over the place, it drains down. And let me see if I can simulate that. And it's going to go, 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 go. And it's going to come rushing out here. A couple things you need to keep in mind, though, before you finish when you're done. You need to rinse the tank and the funnel don't and you just throw it in the, in the stack and the next person sees it thinks it's clean if it's got any re residual fixer in there it's going to really screw up the developer so now we have water spraying I can't I can't tell if you can see that but water's really coming out of there all right so then we have that done so we'll let that empty out here now this is slightly tricky part here and the only reason it's tricky is because you don't want to get hosed. I'm going to unplug the other one. Maybe I'll put this here. You can basically kind of throw that out. Okay, so then you have here, at this point, you can vaguely see generally if, it's, if your film is clear or if it's got some um, negatives in there. Uh, the next thing, one thing you're going to do is you're going to take your tank down there again and then we're going to take this yellow cap it's called photo flow this is kind of like jet dry take 10 ounces of this and pour it in here and you don't need your funnel on there you just throw this in here okay and you do light little swishes okay, if you shake it up like crazy you're going to get bubbles all over the place so basically you're just swishing it around and that's going to help uh, your photos kind of when you you can take them out to hang them, they're going to help them be a little smoother, um, cleaner, less bubbles. Okay, so when you're all done with that, you pour this back in here, just like the fixer. You lightly take this off. You've got to be careful how you do this. You pull. And right now, these are extremely fragile. Okay, so if you start touching all this stuff, you're going to get fingerprints everywhere. You could actually scrape off the emulsion and the is going to have pinholes or scratches everywhere. So there's two ways you can do this. There's one way, we have these really interesting squeegees. And sometimes I like to rinse them first, just to make sure if there's any weird dust or dirt on there, take some off. And then you take this on here like so, clamp them, and pull down. Also, you can use these things called fingers. You pop them in, you bend them, and there you go. So that's generally pretty cool as well. And then you take this, and we have, uh, I like to use these, I call them gator clips, put them on the bottom, and then you hang them on the drying rack, and this weight will keep them from curling up and keep them nice and straight. Um, if you have any questions, I'm just going to set that here. If you have any questions, let me know. Ask for help. Ask other people. We're all here to help each other and uh, have fun with this uh, art form. So uh, let me know.